Hello, my name is Ashley Bashir, and today I'm going to do a uni un sorry, Unity Venture tutorial. So first of all, I already opened Unity. Don't bother with a scene, it's just a quick scene I did for testing three or different objects at a time. Something else I was working on, it's not really important. So first of all, I hope you know the basics really. First, we go to Assets, Scripts. This, this folder I created by myself, I called it Inventory. You right click and you, you just create a C sharp script. We could call this one items. And if you double click on it or single click, it will open up. Well, let's see, yeah. First of all, we will get rid of this bit here. Because we don't tend to have it one way, but it's a custom class really. If, I hope some of you understand this class bit here, you could destruct if you want. But I did class because but really later on it will be more understandable. So first uh, first of all, we'll do public here. No, first of all, what we must do first thing is, what we do here, system. System serializable. City. What's this at? We need this because this is a custom class and thing model behavior won't understand it because later on we want to show an inspector or player. Wait, let me remove it. We add the other script, the eventually skip. It should show it in the inspector. That's why. If you don't put this here, it won't show in the inspector, but it'll work. So we want a public string name. Public in no, no string we want. Description. First, I'm write this down and I'll explain to you one by one what they'll do. Public int id. So, this could be the properties of every single object in our inventory. So, let's say the name, the description. We're going to make an enum now. I'll tell you what enum is. Enum is a type, really. It's not really easy to understand, but we'll call it type. You could call this anything you want. It doesn't have to be a type. It could be called hello, whatever you want. Then we do it here. And here, we write none. You don't have to write none. So you, here's custom. It's like, how should I say? It's like a tag type of thing. You're on custom tag or something like that. It's a type, really. It's Easy really, but at the same time I have to explain. Like none. This is for normal. We could add this. Let's say you got a keys. Keys is a none type of thing. We got weapon here. You tag these on your weapon. So later on, if you want to add it to somewhere or not, you can check if it's a weapon or not before adding something else, like quest and stuff. We got like potion here. We got armor. The best way to tell you is this. So we create the enum. Thing is, the enum won't show because enum is like a type. So you have to make it show really. So you'll do a public type. See, should, should, wait, let me modify this even. Make a big T. Type, see here, shows big straight away type. Then we do another type. And there you go, just save. So this is our custom class items. This behavior, you need this if you want to show the inspector, because inspector only inherits from one behavior, like like ints, strings. Those are inherited from mono behavior, but this is isn't inherited from mono behavior. So this one will show an inspector. Go any errors? Hmm. Let's see. Try this public. Yeah, that'll get rid of it. So this is all for our script right now. This is just our item script. You can add anything else you want, like damage and stuff, like public in damage or anything. Then here it is. Then we'll do another create now C script, and we call this the inventory. Where M. 
because I'm not call, the main reason I'm not calling it inventory is because there's gonna be a thing in there. There'll be something else in there called inventory, but they'll, you can't have the class and object n name the same because it's a bit of a problem. Because we could use lists, we need to add a thingy because we're gonna be using lists for the inventory. They're using system dot collections dot generic. We need this so we could use the list. This adds the list frame in here. And we're gonna use void awake. Let me tell you basically, awake is the first thing, starts the next thing, and updates the last. So if you want all the way from the beginning, use the awake. First of all, we need a like public. We need the public to show an inspector if it's private one show an inspector. Public, let's see. List. In number the class we did earlier here called items here. See items. And we call this inventory. This is what I mean. If we call this event, if we got rid of the M here, this, these two would thing each other, so it would cost errors. So here you go. So basically, each member, like let's say, list one, will have this and this and this in it. And this has, this, this doesn't only work for list, this could work for arrays or sim, sim, simple members of anything. So you don't have to have a list to use this, you can have an array or simple normal word really. I'll show you examples later on. I would now public. This time we have items. Like I said, I will use these in arrays. I call this a bag. Okay. So we got back here. This old items go be in this bag. Well, you see, the bags will contain old items, so we contain. Every, every object in the game really. We can, use, we can add it from the back to the inventory. The reason this is a list and it's an array, because array needs a specific amount. And I'll wait, I'll show you basically. I already added it to a play here. Added a script, as you see here, inventory back. So, 